Aqua Data Studio's Table Data Editor. This tool is for editing table data with an Excel-like grid. To begin, navigate to the database and table containing the data you wish to edit. Expand the database server tree to find the table. Once you find it, right-click to select and choose Edit Table Data. The Table Data Editor displays 1,000 rows by default and lets you know that it is truncating if there are more rows than 1,000 being displayed. We'll remove this limit by deleting 1,000 from the max results, then refresh to display them all. Now we see 2,155 rows. The Table Data Editor can also be launched from the Query Analyzer window. It allows editing the data retrieved from a query executed in the Query Analyzer. To launch the Table Data Editor from within the Query Analyzer, click the Execute Edit icon button in the Query Analyzer toolbar. The Table Data Editor has several Excel-like features for editing table data. Here, we're inserting a row above to add more data. Type in a cell to enter data into the row. We'll select a few rows. Next, we'll clone the selected rows of data by clicking their row numbers and clicking the Clone Selected Rows icon button in the toolbar. We'll select these rows to mark them for deletion when we save. Notice red indicates delete. It's simple to alter the contents of a single cell. Click in one and begin typing. We'll add a row to the bottom with insert rows after. We'll copy some rows to paste there. The rows we pasted are green to indicate it we've altered the table data. Just like in Excel, we can fill down, up, left, or right to fill cells in. It's simple to remove a change we've made. We'll clear the delete marker for a row. This row is no longer red, meaning it will not be deleted. We'll also undo the edit we made to the individual cell with clear changes in selected cell. If we edit again, the row and cell will highlight. The quick filter helps locate specific data. We'll search for Eduardo. The quick filter updates the display as we type. As with grid results, we can sort columns by clicking on the column headers. We can change the contact title information for Eduardo. Then view the full table data list by clearing the quick filter. Find and find and replace are supported in the table data editor. Here are the edits we made to Eduardo's information. The primary key tab displays what column is checked to define the primary key of the table, which will be used in the update and delete SQL statements for these edits when we execute to save our changes. Here are the SQL statements, our editing generated. The last step would be to save. If we click Save and Refresh, the edits are executed, then the Table Data Editor will reload the data.